Hi guys and welcome back to Trash Arts News where we bring you the latest in all things trash arts. We're back again with some extra content for you guys to enjoy. Home videos came out earlier this year and home videos 2 and 3 are set to be released next year via Sector 5. Here is an exclusive interview with the producers of home videos, Tony Newton and Sam Mason Bell. Hi, my name is Sam Mason Bell. I am one of the producers of home videos along with Tony Newton. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the anthology series home videos. Uh, we first came up with home videos in the late part of 2016. We just finished shooting Maniacal. And after that, we were trying to think of more interesting ways to do anthologies. So, I thought with home videos we had the, the option to be able to not just do found footage but to have different elements, different kind of films that you would have had across the eras. So I was looking for 8mm kind of films or VHS films or early digital as well as modern films such as mobile phones and GoPros. And it was really nice to set that challenge out to filmmakers and the kind of films we got from people such as Mike Reed who consistently was looking back at old VHS footage and then recrafting it into horror, which I thought was kind of genius. And um, Jason Impey's section, which we intercut throughout the first film, I thought, again, it was brilliant because he told me that he went through all of his archive footage of when he was younger up until, like, now and just, and just created this serial killer character out of it by intercutting with some murders. And I thought that was kind of genius. For the um, connecting story of home videos, uh, what I wanted to do... I wanted you just to get extracts of like a cult. So this cult was, you see all the pre-excitement and then you just see them slowly be murdered into cut of everything else. And I really wanted this kind of like mixtape effect for horror with the first home videos. After that we, uh, we decided to do home videos too. And the only reason we decided to do home videos free so quickly afterwards is we had such a good interest of uh, found footage horror films with such different filmmakers from Las Vegas, from the UK and um, and even getting Dustin Ferguson involved for the second one, it kind of made us feel like, okay, we can keep doing these, you know, and then keep doing the same sort of thing. Although the second and third are less experimental than the first, I think with, with the second in particular, most of it's just like one shots, character focused pieces, and you get some excellent performances coming out, in which you'll see uh, when it comes out. So I think after the future of, um, with home videos, I think what me and Tony Newton, the um, co-producer and Vestra Pictures have discussed, is we want to try and do it as like a, as a web series anthology series, which we're hoping to launch around March next year. So um, you'll hear more information about that next year, but we want to try and get out for a Halloween release next year. Home videos to me is just, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting anthology. And I like found footage and I always believe with found footage, people get so lost with it just being a camera turned on filming bits. So they forget that found footage is docu-horror, it can be mockumentary, it can be so many different things. So that was Tony Newton and Sam Mason Bell. As I said earlier, Home Videos is already out and you can buy it uh, on DVD via Amazon.co.uk. Thank you guys again for tuning in to Trash Arts News. For daily updates, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on Monday.